Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge rounded off a successful day back at work by attending the Wildlife Photographer of the Year Awards at London's Natural History Museum. Royal fans were treated to the glamorous side of Catherine when she stepped out in a stunning outfit. Catherine Glamour in a thigh-split column gown in a light blue by Jenny Packham, one of her go-to designer brands for evening wear, displayed incredible legs. The dress featured a V-neckline, three-quarter sleeves and a cinched waist. From the waistline, the skirt of the gown draped down her legs with an opening in the front that revealed a high-low hemline as well as some skin. The Duchess accessorized with a pair of silver chandelier earrings, a matching necklace and a new box clutch that complemented her ankle strap peep toe heels. Jenny Packham described the color as pale jade in an Instagram post about a duchess's dress, a hue featured in the designer's spring 2015 collection. The gown's most dramatic design element was its length. There are actually two lengths, the draped overskirt, or wrap dress portion of the frock, and the skirt underneath. The dress appears to be a custom version of this Jenny Packham style from the AW 2014 cruise collection. It show at Neiman Marcus where it is called the three-quarter sleeve gown with wrap front. Catherine carried another handbag by Alexander McQueen, a custom version of a basic piece, the brand's knuckle box or knuckle duster clutch. The clutch is offered in different colors and materials each season. The bags are modified to remove the ornate skull closures. All of the Alexander McQueen handbags the Duchess carries have to be altered to eliminate the skull portion of the clasp. Catherine brought back a pair of L.K. Bennett shoes we first saw at the 2011 annual ARC, Absolute Return for Kids, Dinner, the Agatha Suede Sandals. She also wore a Jenny Packham gown for that engagement. This evening we saw the Duchess in new jewelry, a sparkling diamond necklace and matching earrings. Anna of My Small Obsessions has identified both pieces, they are from a jeweler Kate has not worn previously, Monica Vinader. The earrings are the Riva Diamond Cluster Drops with pavé diamonds set in rose gold plated sterling silver, $1,245. The Riva collection encompasses a variety of pieces and styles. The designer says it is inspired by her travels and the glamour of the Italian Riviera. This was an outstanding look for the Duchess. The dress color worked perfectly with her coloring. She looked healthy, confident and very much in her element at the awards. The last time that the Duchess of Cambridge joined the Natural History Museum in honoring photographers at the annual award ceremony in 2020. The Duchess of Cambridge used glamour during the appearance, opting for a chick black blazer with puff sleeves and matching top and trousers. Catherine appeared flawless in the short clip, wearing her soft brunette locks in a bouncy blow dry, and adding a touch of glamour to her outfit with pearl drop earrings. She sported glamorous makeup with a pink lipstick and a dark smoky eye for the virtual award ceremony. Last year, the Duchess of Cambridge donned a dusty rose jacket and jeans as she headed to the Natural History Museum, just a short drive from her London home of Kensington Palace, to promote the museum's urban nature project. At one point, Catherine sat cross-legged on a wooden platform in the museum's garden to join some schoolchildren as they learned about spiders. Catherine looks elegant to Sam and Hude. Cargo-inspired blazer by Claudia paired with straight-leg denim jeans, a white top by Ralph Lauren. She completed her pair-back look with her favorite 90 British pounds Vija trainers and accessories. The Duchess accessorized the look with a dainty gold necklace by designer Daniela Draper and delicate gold hoop earrings. The natural beauty, who wore her soft brunette locks in a bouncy blow-dry, opted for just a light dusting of pink blusher and pink lip tint while Princess Diana's famous sapphire and diamond engagement ring leaned on the Duchess's finger. In 2019, the Duchess of Cambridge embraced the gorgeous, fall weather as she donned a pair of green, wide-legged dress pants designed by Jigsaw and a plum-colored warehouse sweater that featured a scallop turtle neckline. The warehouse sweater features a pointel texture at the yoke, a scalloped high neckline, scalloped cuffs and long sleeves. Now let's look at Catherine's Jigsaw culottes. The cocky green trousers offer a relaxed fit with a wide leg. They feature an elasticated waist, front slanted pockets and ruching from the waistband to the hem. Kate's accessories should feel familiar to anybody who regularly follows Kate's style. She's worn the shoes, handbag and earrings in the past. The shoes are by Todd's. So stylish. The Italian-made pumps feature a high black heel, fringe detailing and a gold buckle. Catherine first debuted the fringed pumps during the Canada tour in 2016. 
Catherine's quilted bag is from Chanel's Fall Winter 2016-17 collection. It has a pattern handle made from enamel and brass, plus it features the company's iconic logo on the front. Catherine wore her Asprey London earrings. The 18CT gold hoops are designed to look like intertwining oak leaves. They're from the company's Woodland collection and feature pave diamonds. Catherine stepped out looking more gorgeous than ever in her perfect fall outfit. Thank you for watching videos. If you like our videos, please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. Your support is a motivation for us to produce better videos. If you have any requests for news, please comment below the videos for us. See you in the next videos.